Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to compare fractions using common numerators and common denominators. We talked about common numerators and um, common denominators in our previous lesson, so if you don't quite remember how to do that, go back and use that as a refresher. Um, so we're going to start by using common denominators to compare the fractions. As you see, I have a fraction 3 fifths and 6 fifteenths. I want to make my denominators the same. So I know that 15 is a multiple of 5. So I'm going to keep 6 fifteenths the same and change 3 fifths so that it has a multiple of 15. So to do that, I'm going to find a common denominator of 15. So I need to multiply times 3. So I multiply my numerator times 3 and my denominator times 3. When I do that, I'm going to get a total of 9 fifteenths. So that was similar to what we did in our previous lesson. Today, though, we're going to be comparing those. So now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to compare my numerators. 9 fifteenths is greater than 6 fifteenths. So therefore, I'm going to say that it's greater because that means I have 9 pieces out of 15 shaded versus six pieces, so nine is a bigger number. So nine fifteenths is greater than six fifteenths. Let's try another problem. If I have two six and three fourths, I'm gonna find a common denominator for six and four. I'm gonna use a picture for this. So I have two six and I have three fourths. If I'm looking at that picture, I can already kind of figure out which one's going to be bigger, but I want to make sure by finding the common denominator. So I know six and four both have a common denominator of 24. Remember the clue I taught you before, you can multiply the two denominators together to get the common denominator. So in order to get from six to 24, I'm going to need to multiply it times four. So multiplying my numerator and my denominator times four. In my picture, that's going to divide my pieces in, or my two six into four parts. Now I know you're thinking division, I thought we were multiplying. All we're doing, we're not really breaking it into parts, we're just splitting it up into four groups of two six. So I still have two six here and two six here and here and here. They're just a little bit smaller pieces. When I do that, I'm going to get a total of 8 24ths. Kind of jumped ahead over here, gave it away. In order to get to 24 with this fraction, I'm going to need to multiply the numerator and denominator times 6. So in this time in my picture, it's going to be broken into 6 parts. Ooh, they're nice and little tiny. When I multiply it through, 6 times 3 is 18 and four times six is 24. So I'm gonna have 18 24ths. So just like we assumed by looking at the picture, eight 24ths or two six is less than 18 24ths or three fourths. So we can figure that out by finding those common denominators. Again, eight is smaller than 18. We can also do this finding common numerators. So again, we can use common numerators to figure out and compare fractions as well as to order fractions. So in this case, we have two as a numerator and two fifths and three as a numerator and three fourths. Our common numerator would be th um, six. So I'm gonna have my picture of two fifths and my picture of three fourths. Again, looking at the pictures, you can kind of get an idea of which one's going to be bigger, but we want to make sure by at having something in common. So we're going to find a common numerator of 6. So looking at 2 fifths, to get 2 to 6, I need to multiply times 3. So I'm therefore going to break my picture into 3 parts. So 2 fifths times 3 is going to give me 6 fifteenths. If you see now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six colored, and there's 15 total. All right, on this side, I have three fourths. To get from three to um, six, I need to multiply times two. So I'm going to multiply this together. I'm going to break my picture into two parts. And now I have six eighths. 
So you can see my numerators are now the same. They both are a 6, but now I'm going to compare my denominators. So if I have 15, this is where it gets a little bit trickier because 6 fifteenths, look at my pieces. They're still a little bit smaller than over here. If I have 6 eighths, those pieces are much bigger. So 6 fifteenths is actually going to be less than 6 eighths. So when I'm comparing my numerators and I'm finding common numerators, the difference um, if I have with the denominator, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the piece. So it's a little bit tricky on that. So the bigger denominator is a bigger piece. The smaller denominator is a smaller piece. If you think about a pizza, if I share it with more people, you're going to get a smaller piece. Or if I share it with less people, you're going to get a bigger piece. That's the one thing that gets a little bit confusing when you're finding common numerators. I hope that you found that helpful. Please click like below and subscribe for more videos from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.